Episode 3 Hey, Kelly, I'm glad you were able to come. Alex stopped before giving me a hug. Wow, are you okay? Didn't get much sleep, I yawned. All day yesterday was spent with pictures, poses, learning to accept the good things about me, and so much more. I finally got to sleep at 4 a.m. after Lola thought we should watch movies relating to this whole topic, as well as a sugar daddy documentary, promising me she'd watch out for the total weirdos. I couldn't believe this whole thing was happening. Maybe. I couldn't tell what was for fun and what was real anymore. Alex had woken me up that morning on his way to work. He asked if I wanted to go out later, and of course I didn't know what was going on, so I said yes. Otherwise, I would have probably said no. I had wanted the call to end. I didn't want to be an asshole and cancel the whole thing. If you want to go home, I'm fine, need a cup of coffee, that's all. We were chilling at the mall while he was waiting for his brother Leroy to finish a play date at a friend's house. At least this wasn't like a date, just two friends hanging out at the mall who happened to kiss one time, casual. Although I objected, Alex paid for my coffee and we took a seat near the corner. How was work? I asked, trying to make small talk. He shrugged, boring as usual. Alex was going to be a college senior next year, but had been working a part-time job all four years. I perked up. Maybe he could talk to his manager to see if they had any openings. What is it you do again? He grinned. Are you excited for your next year of college? I made sure not to frown or show any concern that I may not be able to continue. Smooth topic change, straight to education. My bad. He held up his hand laughing. Let's see, do you want children in the future? My eyes widened and my jaw dropped. Why would he ask that? Suddenly he burst out laughing so loud we definitely received a few glances. Kelly, your face, you should have seen it. I love messing with you. That wasn't funny. I thought, I cut off my sentence. I thought you meant you wanted to make some with me. A blush crept up my cheeks that I hoped Alex didn't notice. I cleared my throat. So, any break plans? He shook his head. Maybe. Depends. What about you? Confused at his answer and the flutter in my stomach, I moved on. Yeah, I'm going on a beautiful cruise and paying for it with all of my imaginary money. The joys of a college student. You need a loan? No, but thanks. If I needed one, Lola would have showered me with money already. That was both a truth and a lie. Lola didn't have the money to shower me with, but if she did, she sure as hell would give it to me if I needed it. I'll try to get another job. Is your place hiring? No, he said quickly. Why don't you apply here, to Starbucks? I scrunched up my face. No, thank you. I already have horrible penmanship. He laughed. How's Lola been? Lola's being Lola. Weird, outgoing, different, hyper laptop geek? You know it. He leaned back in his chair and took a sip of his drink. I was almost finished with my coffee and I was starting to feel a bit more awake. What kept you up last night? He suddenly frowned. Maybe I don't want to know. My entire body flushed. I might be dense sometimes, but I knew what he was getting at. Sex with someone last night. Huh, <laughs> if he only knew. I told you Lola was staying over. And then I remembered you live in the same house. I swallowed. Okay, fine, I lied. It was half the truth. She was staying in my room like a sleepover. The stuff we were doing was top secret and not something I could cancel. And did you have a slow motion pillow fight until the late hours? He winked. I rolled my eyes and wished they'd go further into my head. Maybe I'd freak some people out and get out of this awkward conversation. This mall Starbucks would love it. Alex pushed his glasses up his nose. His blue eyes windowed behind them. He stood up and stretched, and I couldn't help but study his body. He didn't seem like the guy who worked out, so girls were always surprised with his fit body. His abs weren't defined, 
but they were there. I'd seen them at a pool day once. Eyes are up here, he said, grinning. I rolled my eyes and stood up, following him to the trash where we recycled the empty cups. How long until Leroy's done, I asked, causing Alex to glance down at his watch. His eyebrows raised, 20 minutes. I nodded my head. I seriously wanted to fall asleep. I needed more sleep than I had gotten last night. And my sex dream guy hadn't made an appearance again either. Of course, Lola slept in for ages because, well, she was Lola and she hadn't made a promise to hang out with a cute, sorta hot guy she kissed once who was nine times out of 10 saw as a friend. Alex and I talked and walked, trying to pass the time before we would go pick up his brother. Somehow we ended up in a clothing shop even though neither of us was completely interested in it. I didn't mind clothes shopping, but it was always better when I was looking for something, not browsing. We aimlessly walked around before I paused at the discount rack. I hadn't planned a shop, but Lola was always stealing my clothes, so maybe more wouldn't hurt. And I might need some new outfits if, if anyone actually bid on my virginity. I quickly pushed the thought away, shaking my head. Then, in the corner of my eyes, I saw a tight-fitting dress that had a really nice belt with it. I pursed my lips before turning my head when I felt a hand on my shoulders. Didn't know you were the dressy type, Alex commented. I always see you in jeans or leggings. I never really go to things that require getting dressed up. Alex paused, then started laughing. Do you remember our little date? He seemed not to know what to call it. How my car broke down and we ended up having to go to McDonald's? I burst out laughing. Of course, and I got to try the new McFlurry. I remember, he said. You had ice cream on your lip and I wanted to kiss you again so badly. I didn't know what to say to that. Alex, the kiss had led him on and I felt so bad for it. Even though the kiss had felt good, it felt worse after the fact. The worst part was that it didn't seem like he was even trying to date anyone else. He smiled and tilted his head. How about a deal, Hart? What kind? If I buy you this dress, you give me a second date. I don't want you to buy anything for me, Alex. I shook my head. I had to let him know how I felt. We've been friends forever, and you're a really important person to me, but... His face lit up. Then he nodded his head before his eyes widened. It's a date. What day works best for you? Wait, damn it. I think I left my phone at Starbucks. He closed his eyes, huffing. Do you mind looking there while I look at the fountain? Sure. I knew the panic people felt about a lost phone. After pushing through people, I finally ended up at the table we'd sat at. I looked high and low, even in a set of plants nearby. No phone. I was about to try to go find Alex when I saw him coming from the shop with his phone in his hand. But that wasn't the item I was looking at. In his other hand, he held a shopping bag. Of course, only he would trick me so he could buy something for me. I didn't know how that made me feel. Alex, go return that right now. Receipt's gone, you can't. It's rude to reject a present. Are you really going to be rude? Well, I didn't like that. After he held out the bag for a while, I finally took it, offering him a forced but grateful smile. Thank you, Alex. You really didn't need to do that, though. At least it's a definite yes to getting a second date, right? He winked, and I bit my lip. Alex was a smooth talker, and to most people, seriously boyfriend material. Lola popped into my mind, and I instantly felt guilt. It reminded me of what she said the other day, not to lead him on or date anyone because of the little idea we had, my virginity. Sex with someone who wasn't Alex, if I even wanted that to begin with. Deep down, part of me knew if I asked Alex, we'd probably be off making out right now. Thinking it over, I realized how stupid and embarrassing that whole plan was. It wouldn't happen. We wouldn't find anyone who wasn't a total creep and could pay anywhere close to what I needed to cover my mom's bills. Maybe I should cancel the whole thing and settle. 
I jumped when my phone buzzed, not expecting anyone to call me. Alex arched an eyebrow and I gave him a small shrug before answering. Lola, I was actually about to call you. I'm not so sure. Shut up, I rang first, I speak first. She paused and when I didn't say anything, she continued. How does $400,000 sound for your virginity?